What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. Well, you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the personal camera systems that we use underwater while diving. Whether we use video or photography, I'm going to go through each camera that we use and talk a little bit about why we use them as well. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. So the first camera that we're going to look at is the Duo Sport from Intova. Now, unfortunately, Intova is no longer in business, but we have used their cameras since pretty much day one here at Lake Hickory Scuba, and I've had several of their different models. Um, the HD Sport was probably one of my favorite models that they had as well. I've had the Connects version. I had uh, quite of the other few, and I'll actually link them here before you and show you some pictures of all the different models that we've used from Intova. But currently, we're still using two. This little Duo Sport's great for kids. It's great for snorkelers. Um, it's a real simple design, and basically, it's just a camera inside of a waterproof housing. Now, the depth rating on it wasn't that great, but like I said, if you're just snorkeling, this was a really good camera for you to use, and it's still a good camera to use today. Um, just takes a, a standard card here, an SD card, and of course a little charging cable, and you're good to go. Now, like I said, this is not going to be the best scuba diving camera, but it's definitely going to be the best snorkeling camera for you. Now the next camera I've got here is the X4K. This was the last camera that was in, manufactured by Intova. Uh, as I said, we were huge Intova fans. Um, the cool thing about this, this was the first one that they manufactured in 4K video. Um, it's still a no frills, no thrills camera. Basically you got an on and off button here and a shutter button that takes pictures and it'll also do uh, video as well. Now this particular camera here is actually the one that we use in most of our point of view shots. So anytime I'm wearing a full face mask or I have um, my helmet on underwater, this is the actual camera that I use there. And I've got several different attachments. My daughter will use this. As a matter of fact, she used this in her videos that she shot when we were down in Cosmel. And I got a little wrist mount that she used as well. But this is a great camera. The camera and the housing is all one unit. So the housing itself does open up over here on the side so that you can charge and take the card out. But you don't have to worry about taking the camera out and flooding the housing and stuff like that. It's all one unit. It's a very simple design to use. And it's an all-around great camera. And to this day, this is still my action camera of choice that I use for point of view video. All right, so our next camera here on the list, of course, is the Sea Life DC1400. And I really enjoy this camera just because of how easy it is to use. Um, it does have just a few little menu buttons here on the back, but they're, they're very large. So if you're diving in colder water and you've got thicker gloves, it's really easy to use. Now, this does come with a camera and a housing, and you can get this camera in several different configurations. Of course, you can get just the camera itself. You can get the camera in the strobe. You can get the camera in the video light. Or you can get the duo model that comes with the camera, the strobe, and the video light, which is exactly what this model is. I've just currently got the video light taken off of this tray because I've actually got it on another camera. But one of my favorite features about the Sea Life cameras, and especially the DC1400, is when you go to the menu button, there's an easy setup here, and you just simply click on it. You can pick between land mode or underwater mode, and under the underwater mode, you can actually pick what type of system you're using. Once you got that system picked, then of course, your camera is set up, it's ready to rock and roll. All right, the next camera is actually just a housing itself. This is the Sea Life Sport Diver housing for Android and iPhones, and we just did a review on this. If you've not seen that video, I'll link it up top for you. Definitely go check it out. This is probably one of the most simplest systems out there as far as a housing and a camera because it's going to actually take your cell phone. It's going to take the Android that you've got or the current iPhone that you're using, and you're going to be able to operate it because you already know how to operate it. It's nothing more than a housing with just a few buttons here. It's got a vacuum port and then, of course, a shutter button. Now, I've actually got the video light from my DC1400 tray system attached to it as well. And that's another great thing about the Sport Diver housing. You can pretty much attach any tray or light source to it. Now, even if you're attaching a flash, the external flash you're going to have to already have on. It's not going to connect to the app itself. As far as I know, it doesn't. But this is a great little setup. And I've had this camera system here for about three months now and I've actually fell in love with just how easy it is to use. So if you want a relatively inexpensive investment, this is definitely the system that you want to go with. 
Now the next camera on the list, of course, is the Sea Life Micro 3.0. And this to me is kind of a, uh, a hybrid version of a camera in the fact that it's great for photography, it's great for videography, but the size is what we really like about it. It is small enough to use as an action cam uh, type camera, but it's also going to have all the features that if you want to do some underwater photography with it, it's going to be great as well. It's got an ultra wide angle here, basically just a simple shutter uh, button on top and just three simple buttons here on the back. You can go in, you can set your white balance, which setting a white balance on this camera is probably one of the easiest cameras out there to do, but it's got a playback feature, and of course you can switch between video and camera mode as well. So the Micro 3 is a great choice. If you're just getting into photography, you want a small little handheld camera, that you can wear on a helmet or a mask or something like that. They're all around great cameras. And once again, the camera and the housing is all one unit. You don't have to worry about taking the camera out of the housing anytime you got to charge it or download the footage or anything like that. All right, guys, so the last camera on our list is the Camera SD940, and I've actually got it sitting on a tray now with the Pro V8 LED and the Oculi Auto Flash AF35. And this is a camera that I use a lot in underwater photography classes just to show all the different features. And Oculite makes some absolutely phenomenal housings. They'll make them from Canon, they'll make them for Sony, just about any camera out there you can get an Oculite housing. And a setup like this can be relatively more expensive than what some of the other cameras are. But if you're really wanting to get into underwater photography and videography, this is going to be a great camera as well to start with because you can start to learn the features and all that. You can actually change the configuration if you don't need to flash, you can actually take it off. Or if you don't need to say the video light that day, you can take it off as well. You can get a slew of different options for the tray as well. But all around, this is a great system to go with as well. So there you go, guys. That's our personal camera systems that we use here. Let me know down in the comment section below what is your favorite underwater camera and why you like to use it as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions, please drop it down in the comment section below, and I'll try to help you out the best I can. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.